This is Sadia Di Selecta on the Sounding Channel. I'm gonna be talking about the Rev series, brand new series by Pioneer. My inbox has been flooded with people asking me to do a review, so here we go. It's January 14, 2022. This series just dropped yesterday. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Rev 1, it also has a gold series, and the Rev 7. I'm gonna compare two other DJ controllers like it, and then I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on the controller. Towards the end of the video, I'll tell you where to get the best pre-orders and I'm gonna do this all under five minutes. So the Rev1 is a battle style controller. It is most similar to the DDJ SB3 and the 400. Why do I say this? Because it has RCA outputs, it has a quarter inch mic input, and it's USB powered only. The mixer section of this controller mirrors the DJM S series because of where the performance pad and the lever FX sit. The controller mirrors the PLX turntables because for the first time, Pioneer has now shifted the tempo faders, which are usually vertical on the DJ controllers, horizontally on the top to give you that battle style feel of the PLX. This Rev1 is a whopping 4.6 pounds. <laughs> This intro controller has the biggest jog wheels of any other DJ controllers out there. The Rev1 comes in a very nice gold limited edition. So now I'm going to talk about the Rev7 briefly. It is 23.7 pounds. It is very professional for a two channel controller. It has motorized and vinylized jog wheels to really give you that record feel. The jog wheels also have displays on them. It has a BPM and it also has a waveform. This controller can be compared the most to the XDJ RX2 and also the Rain 1. Now Pioneer promises that this Rev7 was built with an, an advanced audio design. It has a digital to analog converter, which is supposed to minimize unwanted sounds like the onboard power supply. The Rev7 is coming in at $1,899 US dollars. So my quick opinion on the controller, on the Rev1, what I really don't like is that they have the volume knob for the mic on the back of the controller. That doesn't do me any good. I know they want to space the controller out more, give it more of a roomier feel, but still just the other issue I have with the controller is that they launched it to work with Serato intro, the intro or the DJ Pro, and they didn't launch it with Rekordbox. And I don't understand why you wouldn't launch it with a record box. Most of the people who are going to be attracted to these motorized, vinylized jog wheels are battle style DJs who are using record box. They're using it on the XDJ, they're, they're, they want a USB. What I thought they could have done better besides launching it with a record box was maybe merging the the style of the XDJ with this style. So put a nice screen on the top nice and small. I don't like the, the how big the RX3 design is. It's a little too big for my, for my taste. I would then also give us the option to plug and play with our USB. If you can just bounce your files down through Rekordbox and plug and play, that would be so great. Then these DJs can just start up anywhere, no, no laptops blocking them, and really, you know, have that feel of what it used to be like playing records. I am happy that they came out with this model. You know, I know it's gonna make a lot of people happy. I think it was a little too rushed. What are you gonna do? So now I've said what I wanted to say. I want to know what you guys think. Make sure you leave comments below. Also, I want to know if you have this order on pre-order yet. And where do you get your pre-orders from? If you'd like to pre-order with me, I work with Guitar Center. My email is listed below. You can reach out to me, tell me the quantity, your name, your number, and your email, and I will give you a draft order. What I can do for you is give you the 411 on where this item is. I can let you know when the expected date of shipping is, and I can also let you know what number you are in the queue of getting this item. 
I'll send you out a draft order and then we'll get the other details and you can pick it up at any Guitar Center location closest to you. At this time, I am not doing any international orders. Thank you so much. This is Sadia Di Selecta here on the Soundlink channel. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications button, leave me a message and comments too. I'm more than happy to hear what you guys have to say and also share it with all of you again. This is the Rev 7 series by Pioneer in under five minutes.